Andrew writes. Blavatsky was an enigmatic and charismatic figure in the 1800s who massively made an impact on the Western esoteric tradition and New Age spirituality. There's no doubt she was a storehouse of information, but the veracity of her claims may be tenuous. What do you think Blavatsky's most veritable information and commentary was? And then opposite of that, what do you think she may have been dishonest about? And I reply. Firstly, if we're gauging the veracity of Blavatsky's claims by modern materialist scientific standards, then the entirety of theosophy is technically fiction and can only be examined by light of religious belief. In other words, we're not likely to find archaeological or anthropological evidence to support her claim that during the fourth root race living in Atlantis, higher beings descended and bred with and bred giants who mated with she animals to sire gorillas and chimpanzees. These claims derive from ancient myths. Genesis 6, and should not be seen as comparable in any way to contemporary and modern sciences such as evolutionary biology and genetics. In this context, everything Blavatsky ever said would be seen as being purely pseudoscience, which should also go a long way toward discrediting the racist eugenics philosophies it inspired. That being said, Blavatsky almost certainly had an eidetic or photographic memory that allowed her to nearly accurately quote, albeit without attribution to their sources, around a hundred other books without acknowledgement, in Isis unveiled alone. So she was, as you put it, definitely a storehouse of information. However, she devoted almost all of her personal mental energy to imagining a synthesis combining all the myths from ancient cultures that is almost entirely original and not actually supported by the later excavated myths these cultures preserved. Although it was named such in the 1970s, I'd attribute the origins of the modern New Age movement entirely to the syncretic efforts of H.P.B. and Albert Pike during the 1800s, without whom the works of Zachariah Sitchin and other ancient aliens researchers today would likely have far less traction in global sociocultural trends. The real problem with finding physical evidence to demonstrate the actual facticity of such syncretism of religious beliefs from ancient cultures especially basing it on modern knowledge of their original myths, is that the original myths themselves were fictions. So any attempt to combine them all into a single monomyth, whether by HPB or later mythologists like Joseph Campbell, let alone moderns like Michael Witzel, amounts to a novel fiction, amounts only to a novel fiction, with little or no basis in material reality at all. Certainly, ancient people no more believed in Blavatsky's root races or seven rays ideas than they did in Sitchin's Lost Book of Enki, because both of these result from modern people looking back at ancient myths through the biased lens of syncretism, that is, from a perspective looking at the present as the historical foundation of a globalist New Age religion. 